All right, so we're in the office. A little story time. Not going to be doing any sourcing. I want to talk about getting scammed on eBay. I sold these packages of Pokemon cards, two boxes, 50 bucks, and within two days, the buyer's like, hey, you sent me an open package, one open return. And I'm like, well, these weren't open. They were completely sealed. And in the picture that he sent, we could see it was sent in an Amazon box, which we don't reuse boxes most of the time. So I'm like, all right, something's fishy with this return. Chances are he's just going to send me some open Pokemon cards and, you know, maybe I'll refund them, maybe I won't. Because uh, when I do get re returns, I'm a top-rated seller, so you can return or refund half, 50%, no questions asked. You know, typically you just notate that the item was open, the item was used, and you can refund half, and then eBay will eat the other half if they open a case. But... So this is the envelope I got back, and I won't, you know, whatever, I'll dox those people. And I'm like, the, well, there's no Pokemon cards. They sent me plastic, plastic rocks, all this. So I was like, Phew. I have not been scammed like this before. I've never gotten an item back that I have not received or that I have not shipped out. This is the first time someone's sending me just... You see these things, these plastic rocks. So I'm just deciding, do I just refund them half, whatever, figure it out, just in case eBay does side with the buyer. You never know. eBay's been interesting. Sometimes they'll side with the buyer. If they side with the buyer and say, hey, no, you could have sent these rocks to them, which has happened, I've seen on other videos, I'd be out the 50 bucks. But I'm like, it's 50 bucks. I'm gonna fight this as far as it has to go. So I opened a, a case saying, I, I am not giving this guy his money back. And eBay was like, we'll look into it. And then once I opened the case, within a day and a half, two days, the, the buyer opened up a dispute with their payment uh, processor. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Usually I'm protected in being a top rated seller. I think any disputes with the payment processor, eBay will uh, eat or side with, you know, whatever they end up, if, even if the payment processor deems that this guy uh, didn't scam me, We'll see, but what would you guys do? I was I was a little heated. I was actually, actually, for what I got, I was kind of a little bit surprised and I just laughed. I'm like, are you kidding me? I knew something was gonna be up, but I um, wanna share a story. That's the first, I've sold 25,000 items on eBay. This is the first time I've ever been scammed. I know people are scared about being scammed. This doesn't happen that often. Like I said, 25,000 items, not gonna let it affect my business. Don't let it affect you guys, you know, if you're scared of selling on eBay or getting started. But, man, there are still pieces of work out there that like to scam people. And uh, you know what? They're Pokemon cards for $50. Like, it's not a PS5. It's not a $1,200, $1,500 item that I've sold in the past. So let me know what you guys would do. Kind of, you know, is what it is. It happens. I guess it's part of doing business. But, uh We'll see what happens with the uh, payment processing. I think it's the funds are still on hold. So I'll keep you posted on the outcome. Appreciate you guys watching. Sorry to take away from the sourcing. There'll be more flea market garage sale videos coming down the road. But thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.